Right, hi. If you saw my post on, what day was it? Tuesday, I think. I painted this partially on camera and it's finished now. So this is going to be a background. I'm going to just cut it up probably for my little book. So I'll use it in some design work in setting up the whole thing. Just take little elements of it um, for different things. So I'll put that to one side. I also did this one. Now this one on Tuesday was just pink. Since then I toned it down a bit because the pink was a bit too whoa, whoa, whoa for me. So I just want to do a bit of doodling on this. I'm going to use pen. So the first thing I'm going to do, well I like to test my colours, so I like to do little circles of colour to see which colour I want to use and I don't want to use that one, so I'll put this one. Well that's red Karen, it does say so on the end. But anyway, I don't have a problem with a red dot, it's another red, so look at this one. That's like a purple, I think I'll use that one. So I just want to define one of these circles. I'm not going to do a lot on here, but... So I'm just going to do... If you're in class, you'll be laughing at me now. I can't say why in public, but they'll know. So, just do this all the way around and it'll hopefully lift this circle off the page. Now if you know me, you'll know that when it comes to doodling mostly I've got a default setting and basically that's flowers but then doesn't everybody doodle flowers? I don't know, maybe they don't. So already that's lifted that, well I think it has anyway. I like this colour, it's quite a dark purple. So, the first thing I'm going to do is a little circle with that. Get this one back that I've just used on the edge. Do some petals, little fat petals. And why not? Can you see them? Should I pull in a bit? And then I'm going to take it out of the circle. I'm not going to work within the circle. I'm a rebel. That's how I roll. There. So that's the first one. So let's do another one. Should we have a blue one? Well, we want a blue centre. We'll see what this thing. This is red as well. Oh, it's quite like a brown. So we'll have a brown there as a centre. We'll have some blue fat petals. I mean, this really isn't challenging at all. Um, and by the way, if you're in that doodle group on Flickr, you're amazing. I look at that every day and I'm like, whoa, you're all so talented. I haven't got a green circle though. So take a bow. Everybody who's in the doodle group on Flickr, you're all superstars. If it was a class, I'd be giving out gold stars. I'd have no gold stars left. Oh, I like this. This is uh, maybe a little bit pretty, pretty for some people. But And again, don't forget, this is going to be cut up. It's not going to be used like this. So perhaps a strip will be cut down there, you know, take sections of it. Now I'm going to outline another one, so I think I'll use this colour, is that? I think that's the one I used before, so I won't use that one. I'll use this dark purple. I'll outline one of these little ones. Now it might be quite nice to imagine that the flower head has fallen off this one, as happens in life. Okay, and just have oh, a stalk in that one. 
and a couple of little leaves on the edge. That's enough for there, isn't it? I think. And then we'll do this one just because I'm having so much fun. Happy days. What's not to like about just doing this? We'll have we'll have half a flower on this one. Rock and roll. Use this one. I don't know what colour this one is. It's like a brown that side. And then we'll have this with an extra long stalk. Like that. Oh yeah. Right, I can turn off now, happy that I'm happy to share this with you tomorrow on my blog because I did wonder, um, so there, so that needs to be done to all of them, don't ask me when that will happen because I've got some housework to do now, boo hiss, okay.